Alright, it's now time for my third game of Jeopardy. <coughs> for the Xbox 360 game for me and my run. My free game total is thirty thousand four hundred dollars. And like I said in my wheel videos prior to this, I've been kind of battling a bit of a cold the last couple of days, but oh well. Nonetheless. Civic now to my $30,400. Please welcome our contestant. And now. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Prevet. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. And of course, this is an easier round with one, one daily double, and let's see categories. categories. State mottos, book knowledge, celebrity siblings, a hostile takeover. Utopia. You in quotation marks. And be fruitful and multiply. I think I'll start with begin, be fruitful and multiply. 200. We'll multiply 5 times 5 times 5 to get this. It's player 1. What is 125? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Multiply for 4. Player 1. It's 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. Let's hear it, layer one. What is 360? Yeah. Yeah, speaking of 360, that's the console that I'm playing this on, of layer course. One, back. And we've yeah. got the daily double. The daily double. You are in first place. The third layer in one. a row, I hit it early. But I can risk up to a thousand, so that's what I'll do. Here's your clue. It's negative ten times six times negative nine. What is 540? Congratulations, you're still in first, layer one. Layer one, you pick again. 17 times 2 times 6 equals this. Yes, player one. What is 204? That's correct. And we last return one to you. 33 times 33 equals this. It's player one. What is 1,089? That is correct. There we go. Player one, choose Utopia again. for two. Olympic competition in 1900 included this type of swimming, judged on distance and time submerged. It's player one. What is underwater? Ah! Utopia for four. Player one. The Salgir, the Chernaya, the Alma, and the Dnieper are all rivers that flow through this country. Player one. Um, what is Ukraine? <laughs> what you are. Utopia for 600, please. Player one. It's the quality of being useful, or the useful knife used to cut drywall. Player three? He says utility. That is correct. And that's right. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Utility Player three. three. Make us an adjective meaning of an elevated region or the main type of cotton grown in the American South. We're talking about upland. Upland, okay. Player three, you pick again, please. State models for two. Wyoming. 
equal these. Let's hear it, layer one. We're right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Layer one. Utopia for a thousand. The match is coming before the main boxing match. Okay, player one. What is undercard? Yes. I'm up to 5,200. You get to pick again, player Slittery one. Slittery siblings for two. Gridiron stars Peyton and Eli. Okay, player one. What is Manning? <coughs> That's it. 400. Select again. Music makers Branford and Winton. Oh, I don't think I know this one. Here's the correct response. Marsalis. Marsalis. Okay, I've never heard of those. Player one. Pick again. Hostel takeover for two. Enjoy the Sleep in Heaven Youth Hostel or the New Hound Boat Hostel in this capital of Denmark. Let's hear it, layer one. Uh, what is Copenhagen? Correct. Layer one, I'm sure the Red Bus Hostel is fine, but the Mellow Mood Central Hostel caught my eye in this capital of Hungary. Yes, player one. What is Budapest? Oh. Yeah, just Fox in the Czech Republic and that other one I've never heard we of. We return to the Funky Chicken Hostel or the Butterfly Villa Hostel in this Romanian capital. Player one. Yeah. Bucharest. Player one, there. you pick again, please. It's off to the Hans Brinker Budget Hotel or Dirty Nelly's Inn, sounds inviting, in this major European city. Player three. Oh, Amsterdam, yeah. Player three, you start us off. Finishing that one up. Surf the Internet Hostel or the Marriott Hostel. Note the lack of an extra R and T in Marriott. In this Bulgarian capital. Player one. Uh, what is Sarajevo? No, that's oh. not. Uh, Any other first takers? First one I've missed. Player three? Sophia? Yep. Oh. You again, player three. Celebrity siblings for six. Actresses, Meg and Jennifer. Oh, this one I think I know. It's player one. Oh, what is Ryan? Oh. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Oh. Or was it Connolly? Here's what we wanted. Tilly. Oh no, both my guesses were wrong. Layer three, back to you. Filmmakers Joel and Ethan. Okay, layer three. Cohen. Right. <laughs> Player three, choose again. Thousand. Figure skaters, Sarah and Emily. Player one. Okay, wouldn't be Quan. I don't think it's Hughes. Oh. Nope. Oh, it's not Cohen. Any other takers? Oh, now I'm down. No, Player losing three. Money. Sorry, that's wrong. It was Hughes! Anyone else? Crap! Pew! Yes, player two. Correct. Right. Where do we begin, player two? Oh. Nebraska. Equality before the this. Come on, Mark. Let's hear it, player this. three. For the long yeah. Way to go. Yeah. All right, let's get back into this. Player three has control. Ohio. With God, all things are this.
Here's the correct response. Possible. Possible, okay. You get to pick again, player three. North Dakota, liberty and union now and forever, one and this. Okay, player one. What well, is inseparable? Good. There we go. I needed that one to get back on player track. One, Virginia, six semper this. Thinking Fidelis, but. Here's what we wanted. Tyrannus. Okay, would have been wrong. Player one. Okay, put knowledge for a thousand. Entomological name for a blank page at the start of a book. Suitable for inscriptions. Okay, player one. Um What is flyleaf? I don't know. Hey, right. Oh, that's it! We return to you. A colophon is a section at the end of a book that often names this, like Ten Point Baskerville. Yes, player one. Uh, what is typeface? You yeah. got it. Okay, there we go. Six hundred. Player one. Mulvaney, Nancy, one seventy-seven. Bertha, twenty-eight. Education of, two hundred thirteen. As expert in creating these. 326 to 331. Player one. Uh, what are footnotes? No, that's not. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for. Indexes. Indexes, okay. Select again. Shakespeare wrote, What's past is this introductory part of a book. Here's the response we were looking for. Prologue. Oh, the prologue. I should have known that. And we'll wrap up anyway, the with let's this finish up. A book's backstrip covers the part that has this anatomical name. And the correct response is spine. Spine, oh. Should I know that one too? Player two, you're going first in the double jeopardy round. When they return. Alright, I've got six thousand dollars at the end of this round. As well as the lead, player three's 2600, player two's 1000. I think it is. Hopefully, check the score. Yep. It is 1000 for player two. So, player two will go Health first. And medicine. Somewhere. Two daily doubles this the round. Scintillating 1700s. Title possessions. 1960s TV. And on the map. And a quotation mark. Player two. Oh, no, I don't know about these. We continue, right? Lateral epicondylitis is the medical term for the chronic arm injury called this sport's elbow. Player one. What is tennis? That's correct. <laughs> Player one, start us. Somewhere for four. This strike slip fault that runs through California is named for a lake that's in the rift. Here's the correct response. San Andreas. Uh, somewhere for eight. We are volunteering the information that Klingman's Dome is the highest point in this state. Ah, oh, 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 oh. what is Tennessee? Yes, player one. Ah! Somewhere for 1,200. Select again. Johann Strauss Jr. conducted the Blue Danube Waltz publicly for the first time at a February 1867 concert in this city. <clears throat> We're talking about Vienna. Ah, uh, somewhere for 16. Layer one. There's one of the daily doubles. Oh. The first of the daily doubles. You are in first place. Layer one, please select your wager. 
2800. All right, here's your clue. Dating from medieval times, Gamlestan, Old Town, is the cradle of this Scandinavian capital. Um. What is Stockholm? Congratulations! Yes! Still in first. I'm at $10,000. Chisago is a county in this state, as is Hennepin. Here's the response we were looking for. Minnesota. Ah, uh, Minnesota. Okay. Player one, back to you for On the, the map section. for four. Counties in this U.S. state include Jones, Jasper, and Jefferson Davis. Let's hear it, player one. What is... Missouri? Sorry, <gasps> no. Oh. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Okay, player two. Mississippi? Right. Yeah, that was it. Player two, start us. 800. Here's Jimmy. One of eight that starts with M. It's the state seen here. Um. Here's what we wanted. Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. Okay. Player two. Pick again. Map for 12. There's a Shatner building at McGill University in this city where William Shatner was born. It's All right, where one. is McGill? Oh, what is Montreal? Yeah. <laughs> On the map for 16. Of clue. This former Soviet Republic lies between the Prut and Dniester rivers. The correct response is Moldova. Moldova, okay. Map for 2000. We return. According to the New Testament, the battle of good versus evil will take place on a hill in this town Joshua captured. Here's the response we were looking for. Megiddo. Never heard of that. You again, player one. Okay, uh, health of medicine for 800. Statin drugs like Lipitor are used to lower the bad type of this. Okay, player one. What is adrenaline? No, that's not no. Bad. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here is what we wanted. Cholesterol. Oh. You get to the sign of this infection from the virus that also causes chicken pox is a blistering rash preceded by severe pain. I want to say poison ivy, but I don't know if that's okay, right. Okay, player three. No. Not rubella. Oh, it's 50 50, so. Yes, player one. And poison ivy isn't even a choice. What is smallpox? Sorry. Ooh. No. Anyone else? Shingles. Ah. Yes, player two. <laughs> okay, let's get okay, to this. What is two? You make stay away from getting one. Ah, uh, and there's the other two <laughs> double. You. you are currently in second place. She's risking 13 so what's your wager? And the daily double clue. There are viral and bacterial types of this, the inflammation of the membranes covering the brain and spinal cord. Meningitis? Correct. Yeah. Player two. Pick no, since late in 1600. The future King George II lost his marbles over Henrietta Howard and gave her Marble Hill House on this river. We're talking about the Thames. The Thames River. Player two, choose again. A 
famous one of these, Marie Camargo, is remembered for shortening her skirts to calf length. Let's hear it, layer three. Ballerina. That's it. Yeah. Layer three is at 2200. Layer three, make a selection, please, as we continue. In 1752, suave seducer Sergei Saltikov spiced up the life of this future empress. You know, for some reason, I'm finding the Xbox version of this a little bit tougher than the Wii. Here's what it's we all right, though. Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great was the answer. Player three, back to you. 1600. Born into a family of actors, he was expelled from a seminary, big surprise, before finding fame as a lusty libertine. All right, I'm going to give it a try. Player one. Who is Casanova? There we go. Now I'm back on track here. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. The name of this fluid that contains white blood cells comes from the Latin for water. Yes, player two. Lymph. That is correct. Yeah. Player two, where do we start? Cincinnati 1700s for two. Here's Jimmy, he'll show you. An engraving of this 18th century French monarch, America's most powerful ally during the revolution, hangs at Mount Vernon. Player three. Let's hear it, player three. Good. Ooh. Player three, Six make a selection, five, please, as we continue. Of Henry Adams. Yes, player three. Education. You got it. <laughs> Please pick again. Player three of Edwin Drood. We're talking about the mystery. Mystery, okay. Player three, back to you for our selection of Nat Turner. Here's the response we were looking for. The Confessions. Confessions, okay. Please pick again, player three. 1600. Of Duddy Kravitz. It's player three. Courtship. Sorry. Oh. No, that, he got it wrong, so he's down to 3,000. Let's see if player two rings in. Yeah. It's player two. Apprenticeship. <laughs> yeah, she got it. Player two, make a selection, please. As we Finishing up the category. Of young Werther. Here's what we wanted. The Soros. Soros. Man, I didn't know any of player those. Player two, back to you. In First aired on September 30th, 1963, Opie the Birdman has become a classic episode of this sitcom. It's player one. What is it, the Andy Griffith show? Yeah. All, right. All right, the never used lyrics of its theme song were written by Gene Roddenberry. I want to be able to have the lead going into Final Jeopardy. Here's what we wanted. Star Trek. Oh, Star Trek, okay. Player one. On the Adams Family, Ted Cassidy played not only Lurch, but this disembodied hand as well. Yes, player one. Who is Thing? Right. Yeah. Yep, takes with $12,000. Player one. On August 29th, 1967, he finally caught up with the one-armed man. Here's what we were looking for. Richard Kimball. Okay, and the last one? And the last clue for $2,000.
1964, Mary Tyler Moore won her first Emmy as this new Rochelle housewife. Player yes, two. Player two. Laura Petri. Right. Okay, looks like I've got looks some like work to do here in Final Jeopardy. After this break. We've got the Final Jeopardy category here for you, and today it features this category. Poets. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to get a correct response if I want my run to continue. Now let's think about this first. Player 2 is 95.50. So if she were to double, then she would have 19,100. So I'm going to have to go 7101. And now the last clue. Fired from a job for laziness, he wrote, I lean and I'm going to have to get a correct response. Pretty much if I want my run to continue. Okay, I don't think that was T.S. Eliot. It wouldn't be Emerson. Either Wordsworth or Whitman. I am going to go with Whitman. I'm 0 for 2 in Final Jeopardy during this run, but I'm going to have to get this one correct if I want my run to continue. Let's lock it in, and let's see what happens. Player response. 3 says, Walt Whitman. Was that correct response? Yeah! So we know I'm right. He doubled his score to six thousand dollars. Player two, T. S. Eliot. Wrong. She was twenty four fifty five. She drops to seven thousand ninety five. I said Walt Whitman. And that correct. And I had seventy one oh one for a total of nineteen thousand one oh one, and I am the winner once again. Good game. Thank you so much for playing. So in three games, I'm now up to $49,501, and there will be a fourth game coming soon. So long, everyone.